Hello everybody, I am super excited to bring you another informative video today. We are well into 2021, so if your motivation to go after your goals is slowly starting to fade a little bit, I am here to polish them right up and give you some steady motivation. We are going to be discussing 20 amazing technologies that you must learn in 2021. So here's the drill. Once you watch the whole video, I will give you some course recommendations in the description for all the technologies that we'll be talking about in this video, so we don't just conveniently forget about the video and move on with our day. Because you know, in the end, motivation is only great if you take that first big step, right? Alright folks, without any further ado, let's get started. First off on the list, we have Angular. Angular is a popular front-end framework that helps you in creating super functional and dynamic front-end websites. If that wasn't a convincing enough reason for you to learn Angular, here are some more. It's supported by Google. A lot of Google apps already use this framework, and it is under the wing of Google's LTS, which tells us that Google might plan to scale it up even further in the future. Angular is built using TypeScript, which means that it comes with great security and it's easy to work with when it comes to eliminating errors early on in the code. Angular uses HTML, which is a declarative and very intuitive language, so there's no need to waste time looking into the program flows, just define your requirements and you're good to go. With Angular, testing also becomes a complete cakewalk due to module separation. Plus, any good writer knows, consistency of the code is very important, and as Angular is based on components, it becomes reusable, unit testing gets simplified, and readability is improved, and even maintaining the code becomes a super simple task. So Angular should definitely be on your list of technologies to learn in 2021. Second up on our list is React. React is used by a lot of developers to build fast and interactive user interfaces. It was used by Facebook in 2011 and ever since is known for building smooth and robust applications. It's fast, it's scalable, it's simple, and mainly it is extremely easy to learn. While Angular is called a domain-specific language, React can be learned with just a basic knowledge of CSS and HTML. React is big on reusability as well, which makes it even more popular. So what are you waiting for? It's 2021, let's get on the React bandwagon. For number three, we have Django. Based on the simplicity of Python, Django is a super powerful framework for creating dynamic websites. These days, the scope for websites and apps has widened a lot. Django, again, is really big on pluggability and reusability, and its motto is, bro, you don't have to repeat yourself again, I got you, which makes it a super comfortable piece of software to work with. Hey, and guess what? You know that app that you keep scrolling on day in and day out? That's right, Instagram is built completely on Django, and so is Pinterest. Flask is a close competitor to Django in 2021, but in my opinion, Django is much more versatile, its framework is much more secure, more scalable, and easy to maintain when compared to Flask. To add to it, Django is portable and is completely written in Python. Moving on to our next technology, Spring. Spring is an open source application framework which is very popular among our Java developers clan. If you are familiar with Java, Spring will be very easy for you to use. It is very quick, widely used, simple, and ensures productivity. The Spring ecosystem provides features like dependency injection, validation, and aspect-oriented programming, which gives it a great standing. Spring also supports data access natively through the Java Transaction API, Java Persistence API, and Java Database Connectivity. And even though Spring doesn't support all of the Jakarta EE specifications, it supports all of its technologies, which improves the support over the standard specification. Plus, considering Spring's rich history of adoption and innovation, it is a great skill for you to bag in 2021. Number five on technologies we need to learn in 2021, we have WordPress. WordPress is a huge site building platform, which powers millions of websites across the world. It's a content management system, which helps you to design and manage websites for all purposes. Learning WordPress is a whole journey, but it is one you will enjoy. WordPress has a great community online and is also a valuable skill, especially if you're still studying. It will also act as a powerful element in building your portfolio. WordPress will not only help you to learn to create a beautiful website, it will leave you with some valuable life skills such as teamwork, problem solving, organization, data analysis, writing reports, and basically just creating an influence in this busy social media world. Number six, Bootstrap. Sounds familiar? Web designers require a good base that gives us everything a typical website would give and which is also super customizable. 
Among the many CSS frameworks that designers use to do that, for me, Bootstrap has a special place. It is a default in Joomla 3, and especially if you use WordPress or Drupal, you know just how important Bootstrap is. First off, Bootstrap is very easy to get started with. For a front-end developer, learning CSS preprocessing is an important step. But if for some reason you haven't learned it, Bootstrap will help you out. It is built on a 12-column grid with different components such as breadcrumbs, dropdowns, navigations, and many more, which gives you a wider scope while designing. Another cool thing about Bootstrap is that a lot of the elements are interactive, with a lot of bundled JavaScript plugins, which saves a lot of testing time. Overall, Bootstrap is a great skill to learn in 2021 if you're looking to expand your portfolio. Number seven on our list is HTML. Need I say more? Well, for someone who is just starting out in the field, it can be a little overwhelming to choose a technology to learn first. The simple, safe choice would be to start with HTML. Now, of course, you may not be using it in every project, but it is like that lifeline language, which will absolutely save you in tough times. Could be a hiccup with the design team, or maybe with a contractor. Even small things like formatting in your blog, or a small tweak in an email template or when you want to work on the readability of your work, or when you're pitching guest posts. All of these situations may seem small, but learning HTML will really help if you have a strong base for your career. Moving on to number eight, JavaScript. Another basic but important skill as a developer. If we are to think of the basic skeleton of a website, we think HTML and CSS is like the outer appearance of the base content. There, the website's done, right? No, JavaScript helps to bring the website to life by making it actually functional and interactive to the end user. These days, JS runs across the entire software family and has become somewhat of an all-purpose language. But is JavaScript still relevant in 2021? If it wasn't, it wouldn't be a part of this video. It has been the most commonly used language for eight consecutive years, and that must count for something. 94.5% of websites employ JavaScript, and thanks to server-side runtimes like Node.js, its importance is even higher now. Next up, we have Python. Python has a truly universal appeal. With its contribution to data science, big data, and so much more, it has truly become a must-have. If you have ever had second thoughts about learning Python before, from here on out, you shouldn't. I can give you a whole separate article on this, but let's just discuss a few reasons. One, it's very, very simple and so elegant. Two, Python is a super flexible and extensive language. Three, it provides a lot of scope for data visualization. Four, it has so many testing frameworks. Five, it works like magic for scripting. And six, it attracts a lot of money. Expect a great salary with proper skills. Are those enough reasons? Trust me and learn it. And moving on to number 10, we have Ruby. Ruby was super trendy in 2019, but it still hasn't lost its charm. It is a good, mature programming language and is also very flexible. Rails is built for Ruby programming, and they basically go hand in hand, so we can safely call it a whole framework for code and tools. First of all, Ruby is very easy to set up. It is full stack, very easy to understand, and a great way to build robust web applications. Built on Lisp, it also takes inspiration from other high-functioning languages, such as Smalltalk and Perl. With the need for more power-packed languages, Ruby is a great language to learn today. Our next technology is PHP. One cool thing about PHP is that this technology is completely free in all variations and is backed with a strong community. But is it relevant in 2021? The answer is yes, my friend. From WordPress websites to simple landing pages, PHP can build anything with ease, mainly because of its useful libraries, detailed documentation, flexibility, high speed, and integration. So think no more and go for it. Number 12 is Golang. Even though this language is relatively new, it was created in 2009 to be exact, as of August 2020 it was ranked number 13 on the popularity index, which isn't bad at all. It is even used in the production of Google and other famous open source projects. Golang is really lightweight and in some ways similar to C. It even has an amazing library of development tools to choose from. When it comes to modification, Golang exceeds in that area. To maintain a dynamic job profile, it is important to have some more recent skill sets too. 
My course recommendations for Golang will be a basic introductory course to help you get started by learning to build useful data structures, connect to databases, and build polymorphic systems. Next we have Java. Java is another must-have basic language that you will have to add in your skill set as a programmer. It is super dominant and has been around forever. It provides generous API support, has a rich library, is highly adaptable and independent, plus it's easy to learn and implement. Java will never go out of your textbooks until there is the internet. Number 14 is Vue.js. On the outside, you might just think Vue is super similar to React or Angular, but no, this JS framework is setting its own place in the market. It has a simple and minimalistic core, perfect for single page applications which do not need any heavy overhead. It works on Vue model and is designed to be simple and flexible. Setting up and running time is also minimal. As a developer, you'll enjoy working with Vue because of its fantastic tooling, like hot reloading, and additionally support for templating and JSX, which makes it a super developer-friendly framework. Coming to number 15 on the web technologies you should learn list, we have Laravel. We have already discussed the importance of PHP before, and one of the most popular PHP frameworks is Laravel. It helps developers write beautiful code, which apart from being functional, is also way easier to read and simpler to write. It comes with some cool features, such as an expressive syntax, agnostic migration, routing, a powerful QA library, authentication, and a lot more. With such great access, developers truly value this framework. And maybe you should too if it falls in your area of expertise, even if it is not necessarily a great skill to add on your portfolio. Alright guys, so the next technology that will really pick up in 2021 is Flask. We mentioned this before when we were talking about Django, and although they are pretty similar, they do have their own unique characteristics. If you are a complete beginner with Python, I suggest you start with Flask. The source code is well documented and you can build complex projects. It integrates a templating engine called Jinja2. As compared to Django, Flask also scales really well. The API manages over 12 billion requests every day. If you are already just starting out with Python, trying your hand at Flask before you move on to larger frameworks like Django will set a good base for you. And with Flask, you can even integrate with Gevint, Twisted, and Tornado. Next we have jQuery. With jQuery, you can do a lot with your web page in just a few lines of code. It is a JavaScript library and is considered as the most popular one. With jQuery, you can mutate and access the contents of your HTML in a few lines without having to traverse and manipulate the DOM. And another great thing about jQuery is that you can use it to respond to user interaction and even style your web page. However, if you're already smooth with vanilla JavaScript, Vue, React, or Angular, maybe you can spend an afternoon taking a look at jQuery to decide for yourself if you need to add this to your skill set. But if you do have some time on your hands, I suggest you go for it anyway. Number 18 is JSON. JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, is another baby of JavaScript. JSON was built on two different structures, one, a collection of value pairs, and two, an ordered list of values. Value pairs are implemented in things like objects, records, structures, hash tables, or keyed lists, as opposed to a list of values, which is realized as an array, vector, list, or sequence. JSON is extremely lightweight and super easy to write as well. Transferring data also becomes a cakewalk with JSON. 2021 seems like a great year for you to learn this tool. Ember.js Ember is another client-side JavaScript framework which is used to develop web applications. It facilitates the new binding syntax with the HTML bars template engine. It also provides a Glimmer rendering engine which ensures great speeds. The routing, in my opinion, is one of the best features of Ember. It is fantastic with managing URLs. Its model is based on HTML and CSS, and Ember scores great on reusability and for maintenance on web applications. Our last web technology for this video is Node.js and Express.js. Node.js and Express.js are pretty much siblings. Express.js is a server framework for Node applications. It is great for creating single or multi-page hybrid applications. When they come together, you can develop server-side web apps which are quicker and smarter. Some of the cool features of this duo are its versatility, its usability, and its accessibility. A lot of huge companies use Express, like PayPal, Walmart, GoDaddy, and IBM, and you can use it for backend and the frontend. It supports caching. The maintenance cost is really low and development time is also super short. And Node.js is also highly extensible, which means you can expand it according to various specifications. 
Phew, you want more reasons? No, but really, learning this duo can really hike up your portfolio and lend you some great projects. There we go, 20 amazing technologies for you to ace in 2021. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope this list gives you a lot of motivation and will power you to go ahead and actually take that first step into learning at least one of these technologies. You can find all the amazing course links from eduonics.com in the description box. All right, have a great rest of the day. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please go ahead and do that. We are so close to hitting 100K. Help a friend out here, okay? Bye-bye, you guys.